Hi friends! Today we'll be doing my plan with me for the week of March 16th through the 22nd. As mentioned previously, my sister was ordering me a couple of things from the Happy Planner and she also ordered me this beautiful gold cover for my classic happy planner so everything is all nice and neat and pretty in here so let's get in here and get started i haven't gotten anything set up on the inside yet i haven't really done a whole lot with it i just have my book in here and at some point i'll get some stickers or something to put in here to make it more functional for now we just have the usual so let's go to last week this is last week as you can tell didn't really accomplish a whole lot this week. Only finished one scene, didn't edit the TBR tour, still. Um, I did read a couple of books. I got some videos filmed. Um, YouTube schedule went as planned other than the productivity sprint that will have went up on Sunday. You wouldn't have seen that on Saturday, but you know, it's fine. Saturday ended up being an adventure. I went to work and then I went um, to do like my regular grocery shopping, but because everyone is pandemic shopping, I had to go to three stores instead of my usual one to get the things I needed for the week, but it's fine. So I just didn't get as much done yesterday as I had originally planned. Last week, it's here. I used it as I usually do. Not as, not, this week was not my best week. Let's put it that way, okay? Moving forward. Let's go ahead and take it out next week's. And I'll put this aside. So these are the clear dividers that Melissa got me. This is the one that I have set up for my regular planner that I don't show you guys, my life planner. They smell awful. They still smell awful. She brought them over, I think on like Tuesday maybe. Oh, they still smell horrible. They're just, they are rank. They smell awful. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. All right, these are the ones for this week. Most of the stickers that I'm using this week come from this LOL seasonal book. This is um, the Paper Studio, which I believe is a Hobby Lobby brand, but they have like a page for each month. So I chose the March page because it is St. Patrick's Day themed, so that seemed like a fun thing to do. I've got my plans I'm ready to go. Let's do this. Now, I did these a few days ago, so I honestly don't know how difficult or easy these are going to be to get off of the sheets. Um, it may be a pain, but we're going to find out together, I guess. I did some sticker surgery this week with my stickers, as I occasionally do. These ones that you'll see here that I'm using to do my typical covering with were actually a large box sticker that I cut into three pieces to cover um, the top categories that I usually cover. Here, I want to cover one of those this week and just go a little high and it'll be fine. I did not get a coordinating color to go with here, so I need to do that. Looks like y'all are going to get a view of my washi tape collection. I want to use a small one and a green one. That is more blue than green. That one's green. Oh, but it's stuck together. I might be able to get this apart. Maybe. Ha ha! Okay. So I'll use this one. Something that matches. So things we can talk about this week. Um, let's discuss some things that I have decided. If you were here last week, you know that last week I had a group chat with um, my friends, Becca, Emily, Phoebe, Kate, all linked down below. And we basically talked a little bit about well, everything going on in everybody's lives because we're all just we haven't caught up in a while other than I mean we, we talk daily but we haven't really caught up in a while if that makes sense so we we're just kind of talking about projects and things that you know are just a little hard to just like type out and talk about 
And so we talked about my projects a little bit and what I have going on and kind of where I'm stuck at with Warriors and what I'm wanting to do with it because it does need, it's kind of at this precipice of is it going to be YA? Is it going to be adult? And yes, most people would decide that ahead of time, but it is a high fantasy. And so it is kind of just hard to figure out what exactly you want to do with it. And I think what I've decided is to go the adult route because I'm putting a lot more work into the world building, not to say that YA books don't have that amount of world building, but it's just something that you typically find more in adult than in YA. The sticker ripped a bit, so it's going to need some glue. All right. Well, that worked out just fine, didn't it? Anyway, it has a lot of world building in it, and so it's going to need a lot more work than what it has previously had to it. And so I really just feel like I'm going to have to I mean, I already knew I was going to have to restart from scratch, but I'm just kind of in a position where I don't know if I want to continue the round of revisions that I'm doing and, and work on those or if I want to just completely start over. I think I have decided to just continue the round of revisions that I'm on. I'm about halfway through, and at this point what I'm really doing is knowing what I plan to do in the future. I'm kind of working that into the notes that I'm making. So I'm kind of doing things twofold because now instead of like making the changes that I was making before, I'm looking at changing the entire world. And when I started the book, it was set in our world, kind of adjacent to, okay, sticker, could you go just a smidge more straight? I don't know that that's what I want to continue in the future. And that's kind of the thing that I'm deciding is how much I want to be in our world and how much I want to have in other worlds, I guess, if that's the way you want to put it. So I'm deciding how much of it I want to actually have set in our world, how connected I want it to be to our world. Well, we've encountered our first problem. Her legs just ripped clean off. Who needs legs? It's fine. I'll just put something at the bottom or just put her right here at the bottom so that it looks like it was intentional. We meant to do that. She doesn't need legs. Yeah, so if you're using these instead of the wax paper, don't recommend that you do it a week, uh, I don't know, four days ahead of time and then try to get them on here because it's, they're not coming off of here great. Let's put it that way. I'm trying to be gentle, but they're, they're uh, not, not doing great. So basically we had our chat. We kind of talked about what I want to do moving forward and, and, you know, getting the advice of my friends who kind of know me well enough and have heard me ramble about my story enough that I think they kind of get a grasp of what I'm trying to do. So we're just just making plans for the future and I that's definitely what I want to work on during Camp Nano which I will talk about more in my video. I'm going to do a plan with me later this week for camp um, and I'm going to talk about exactly what I'm doing with that then rather than now. So if you want to do that then you know hang around for that. I will be doing a camp plan with me, so can look forward to that as well. Now, I don't know if they're stuck because they're, you know, not happy planner stickers or whatever the case may be, but they stuck pretty good to that, so. Not to the intention, but what happened, so. I definitely think the happy planner stickers are coming off a lot easier than what the others were. These that I cut down that were the big green boxes were Happy Planner. Those are coming off pretty easy. These flags were Happy Planner. They're coming off pretty easy. This big box Happy Planner came right off. So maybe it's just whatever the other brand did with their sticker backing. It's just a little stickier. That's really all I have to talk about writing related wise because that's pretty much all I did this week was just work on the one scene that I'm on which granted that scene that I did was like a 50 some page scene that was broken down into three more scenes but I just don't know what else really I could talk about with that. It's gonna be much shorter today than usual I imagine because you know I'm probably not going to film 
writing on here this week just because my battery is dying and it is very similar every week. That sticker just ripped like four. Okay, those are just ripping, so I'm not even gonna, I'm gonna take those off later and not even put them on here. I will need another box for Saturday. Kate is doing an experiment on Saturday. She's having an experiment day. So I think we're gonna do some live sprints that day just to kind of help me get over my monetization hump. Cause yesterday I hit monetization hours. Like I hit my 4,000, but today I'm back down to 3,999. So it took me off of the monetization. So I have to like, um, so basically a live stream is needed to kind of help me boost some hours. So I think we're gonna try to do that on Saturday, but the usual Tuesday live stream with Becca and Hannah and Thursdays with Laura and Kevin. So this looks like it usually does. So let's get these babies back on the disc. So I'll let you know next week about how I feel about these plastic sheet things versus what we've been doing with the paper because like I said, some of them stuck to it and I had to throw them out. It has cat hair all over it. Um, but yeah, some of them stuck to it and, and ruined some stickers, but again, those weren't Happy Planner stickers, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or if it's because I set that up on Wednesday and today's Sunday. I don't know if that has something to do with it. Here is your view of this Beauteous Maximus planner setup that we have for St. Patrick's Day. Hope everybody is staying safe out there, that you're practicing your social distancing. If you are an author or a booktuber and you're interested in doing a virtual book con type thing, um, check out Beautifully Bookish Bethany's channel. She is trying to um, get together a group of people. She has on her Twitter a link to sign up for helping with the program and I will link that down below. I, I don't know any full details yet and I don't believe Bethany does either. It's just kind of a plan she started a couple of days ago. I just thought that's something that we've been talking about with the climate of social distancing that we've been trying to accomplish. I hope everyone is doing well. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing book, and planner related videos Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.